Hello Gemini, thank you for being here for your December 2020 reading. This is a general reading for anyone with prominent Gemini placement in your chart. There will be an extension of this reading link below, or to purchase a personal reading or any of my Oracle decks, the link to my Etsy shop is also down below. So Gemini, before we get into this, um, some very strong, very emotional channeled messages. So. Um, I got the visual and and spirit shared with me you're crossing a bridge and beneath that bridge were you know fairly um, rocky or tumultuous uh, waters and and then they they brought that song I think by Simon and Garfunkel bridge over troubled water into my awareness um, Check it out if you want to. Um, I think that song is about support, moving through difficulty. So really, really um, emotional energy came through, but I got the word transcendence. I feel like there's an overcoming happening with you. There, There's a transition for you from maybe a difficult period of time into something that is uh, going to bring you to this this calm space I did get uh, a visual also of a glass half full not half empty half full they particularly wanted to point that out to me um, so I feel like you are looking at the bright side of things it's almost as if once you cross this bridge you you end up in a place that is um, you know, more calm, more soothing, something like that. So glass half full, being very positive. I love that. Um, I felt uh, a very strong energy in my heart space. Like um, I, I'm, I'm getting the need for energetic um, healing around your heart chakra. So uh, that, you know, that apply that as you need to. This could be this could be past wounding. This can be a relationship that was um, really difficult. This can be um, loss. It can be a lot of things, but um, it will differ for all of you. But I do feel like there's some heart healing needed. It, uh, like I said, it was a little bit emotional. I haven't had one of these in a while. <laughs> so let's see what came through. These flew out, just flew out. Looks like we have eight living consciously make decisions in life that are not by happenstance but rather by conscious choice for the betterment of your life and for others and i feel that's the bridge you're crossing i i feel like there's something better on the other side of that and you have the support the bridge to me is about a transition and also uh, uh, that support system i don't know why i'm getting I'm getting a visual of of people, you know, joining hands and wrists and somebody sitting on that. So it's it's maybe, you know, people around you will help carry you through something or support you through something. OK. <laughs> yeah, totally. I felt this. It, it was really, really strong. Like I had to pause. I'm like, spirit, don't make me cry during this, please. <laughs> but there is. There is a heart opening and I feel as though you're transitioning literally in your heart space from something difficult to something um, calm. I'm, I just keep getting calm. Relationship paradigms. What speaks to your soul in close relationships? So for some of you, this is about transitioning from a difficult connection, perhaps someone who put you on a new path look at that a catalyst this could be coming or going so it will differ for all of you heightened awareness you're sensing something is shifting you are right something is coming into your awareness this could be about the people around you about the need to transition to cross a bridge you're curious <laughs> which Geminis are naturally curious anyway, but look at this. I feel like you are on a quest for something that somehow awakens you in a way. Your higher self. Wow. 
This is, to me, I, I'm, I'm picking up that word transcendence again, but I, I feel like this is you coming from a place of, of joy, love, compassion. Um, this is also, um, I, I mean, I, I'm getting ascending, I'm getting um, just positivity, um, doing what speaks to your heart, doing, I just heard, doing the right thing. Wow self-development if you've been neglecting yourself in some way in the heart space or otherwise if you have been um, putting others first if you have been ignoring the things that you've needed to do for yourself or work on within yourself I feel like uh, that's changing Wow okay oh <sighs> yeah I have a really um, a really I have a heavy heart. I, I feel like there is some healing that must take place. Um, and, and it could be that m my heart is just full and, and that might signify um, happiness and joy, um, feelings. You're coming into this emotional place with yourself or someone else. Okay, let's see what we've got. Strongest energy around Gemini, December 2020, Spirit. What is significant for them in December? What else? Oh my gosh, they just showed me the visual on this card. Wow. I, I actually really like this. Anything else? Okay. Bottom of the deck, building blocks, a masterpiece in the making. You're working on something. You're building something. Let's see what we've got here. <clears throat> Unfinished symphony. And this looks like a bridge with piano keys. Listen to that song. I, I think Spirit wants you to look at the lyrics in that song. I'm old enough to remember that. Maybe not when it came out, but <laughs> I might have been young then, but it, it's a beautiful song. So there might be something within the lyrics of that song that's important. The card meaning is a lesson that needs to be um, cemented. For me, this is about understanding where you've been, where you're going, which is sort of that, that bridge visual. Um, Understanding what you've learned about it, maybe learning more about yourself. Okay, let's keep going. We have Not For You. Time to go. No Place Like Home and The Tribe. This can be a very strong family dynamic. This can indicate home, family, children, uh, marriage. This is whatever you feel must be released. I'm getting, if, if this isn't um, a, a physical departure from uh, a, a family situation or a family unit, this could be leaving maybe a, an old paradigm or, or something about whatever has been troubling for you behind. I got a big yes on that. Um, there's a transition happening. It, it could be affecting home. I mean, maybe some of you are going off to college, maybe... Um, there's something about a family dynamic that has been difficult. Family may have quite an influence on you. I feel like you are ready to walk through this door. This time to go energy feels to me like new experience, just like the bridge. Wow. Okay, so let's see what else is going on for you in December, Gemini. What other energies 
are around Gemini in December, Spirit. What can you show us, please? What else do they need to know? Gemini, December 2020. Anything else? Oh my God. Wow. Bottom of the deck, behind a mask. You might be keeping your thoughts and feelings to yourself. You might have the intention of doing something, but you're not sharing it. Oh, yeah, yeah, you are. Oh, wow. Wow. My gosh. Okay, well, we have the energy of family coming through. So this is an underscore. This energy of the tribe, no place like home, it definitely has to do with family. So whether that is the people around you who are influencing you, who have shaped you in some way, um, I, I feel like they're coming into focus. What you do with this energy, it's going to differ, but we'll get into the reading and find out what that's about. Victim mentality. Um, Spirit just whispered in my ear, yes, you can. If you feel like you can't do something, if you feel like you're tethered, and um, boy, is this troubled water? <laughs> Bridge over troubled water. I'm getting troubled water. If you feel like you cannot transcend something, a family circumstance, uh, something that keeps you stuck or depleted, yes, you can. Spirit said, yes, you can. Wow. We have hidden motivations. Very interesting. So doing something that you are not sharing. Um, I, I, I'm get, I don't know why, but I'm getting family is heavily um, factored into whatever you're doing. Can't, you can't share something. You can't share something. Playing it safe. Also in the realm of intention, playing it safe. And I don't know if this is for fear of what your family thinks. Could be. <laughs> These cards are interesting. So enter maybe what's on the other side of that bridge. We have happy success. That's beautiful. You are making a conscious choice to choose something that is good for you. I, I'm picking up this, <clears throat> pardon me, living consciously energy. True love. That's nice. Wow. So if I were to boil this down at this point in the reading, I'd say you may be connecting with someone who's in a family situation, maybe someone who's married, someone who has um, deep family ties or something like that, or this is you, and there's something to work through. There's something that you need to realize is within your reach. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You might be seeking ways to make something work, crossing that bridge but look what's on the other side of that bridge that's beautiful okay so let's get into it let's see what awaits you Gemini December 2020 what else is going on with Gemini this is interesting energy what can you tell us about this spirit <laughs> I have to show you this look at that butterfly I love that maybe it'll come out we'll see all right. What else can you tell us, Spirit? What will Gemini experience in December? Any more? Yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Well, clearly those last two wanted to come out. Yes, Gemini. <sighs> yep, I'm feeling a really heavy heart again. Um, you need to heal. 
there's something you need to heal. And I'm getting it. It's within you. It's within you. Okay. I'm going to pull it out. Okay. Let's see what we've got. Holy cow, Gemini. Wow. <clears throat> All right. Not talking. <laughs> we have hidden motivations here. You are not sharing something. Um, I, I, you know, I don't want to go there, but some of you might be in perhaps a, a third party relationship. Um, you might be uh, secretly wanting someone who's married, someone who's connected to family, someone who maybe um, has been withheld from you in some way. The not for you is not always about choice. Sometimes the universe doesn't present an option for us or a path or bridge to that option because it's not time. But there's something that is prompting change. Change is coming. <clears throat> wow, my voice is changing. Interesting. I think you have something to say. I keep clearing my throat. Change is coming. Regain control. This is that tumultuous kind of, um, you know, cauldron of difficulty that you are transcending. You are recovering from something. And this could be in the heart space. Forgiveness. You may feel like you need to ask for forgiveness, perhaps from your family. Something might have been really difficult in a family, <clears throat> there I go again, in a family unit. And I, I, I feel as though, you know, maybe things might come under scrutiny. Forgiveness. Forgiveness is needed. Okay. Vacation. This is a taking a break. Uh, for some, this can be a permanent vacation. This is departing something that I feel very strongly was super difficult. This can be a break. Time away. It can be literally a vacation for some of you. This is about taking a holiday. <laughs> Life partner. Beautiful. True love. There is a person I feel on the other side of that bridge, or maybe that person is your bridge. Wow, Gemini. Whoo, let's see where we go with this. All right, let's look at your energy in December. Tell us about Gemini's energy, please. This feels really, really good, actually. As emotional as I got when I was meditating, this feels good. I'm feeling, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm feeling that for you, totally. There is an overcoming of difficulty. It, it feels really good. Okay. Let's look at your energy, Gemini. December 2020 for Gemini, please. <laughs> Don't hold back. All right. <laughs> oh, there you are showing up, the lovers. Anything else? Is there anything else? Yes. Okay, maybe one more. Okay, there it is. <clears throat> ah, I saw him while I was dividing the deck, the hermit. You're a little wiser. You're a little wiser. I'm, I'm getting that your experiences have really shaped you. Um, the lesson, perhaps, is being learned has been learned, but you're wiser is what I'm getting. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Okay. 
you are definitely holding back, blocking, um, or otherwise being, uh, I'm, I got the word guarded, which is very interesting. You're guarding something. It could be that you're just guarding a secret. You are, um, you're blocking your heart space as well. We have the Wheel of Fortune, beautiful energy. This is a new cycle, a positive turn of events that I feel is propelling you into something new. Change can be regarding a choice in love. There's your card, the lovers. You are looking to the future and, and I'm specifically getting the back is turned on the past. So you are ready to journey forward. Very clear. Very clear. This also can be your energy of making a strong decision about where you go next. I, I keep getting clarity. Clarity needed, clarity sought, uh, uh, you know, this could be um, knowing in your heart, having certainty, but needing, yeah, th there's, there's a little bit, there's a gap. There's a gap with information. Sorry, I'm trying to like channel what I'm getting in my head, but I do feel um, there's a certainty with this, but, but s something is maybe missing. You could be connected to a water sign. If not, maybe this is this energy here coming into your heart space. Okay, wow. So let's get some clarifiers. Let's take a look at the Wheel of Fortune. I want to look at this positive turn of events for you, Gemini. Wow. Releasing yourself. Eight of Swords reverse, breaking free. You might have been in, in this stuck mental place. You might have literally been just kind of stuck and you are getting unstuck. We have the Four of Wands reverse. This can be about home and family. Perhaps this is, uh, it could be divorce. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Fool, a new journey. Wow. So let's look at the levers. There's a choice being made, I feel, holy cow. <laughs> I will definitely clarify that one. The lovers, what else? Thank you. The tower, the ace of pentacles. This can be an epiphany. This can be a realization that it's time to move on, have a new beginning. But I want to see what this tower moment is about. The tower is not scary, guys. It brings in change. It shifts us positively forward. You know, there's nothing to to fear about it, just roll with the change. So let's look at the tower. Why is that here? Okay. Ah, interesting. Okay, we have the Hierophant reversed. Now, um, this could be the energy of taking like the road less traveled, maybe. This can be uh, a concern perhaps over something that is I uh, just got outside of family tradition this is interesting are some of you connecting with someone who um, you have to somehow I don't know I'm, I'm getting this energy about maybe your maybe your family won't approve this is just different than what you've done before um, there's a lack of commitment, but a, a, as a clarifier for the tower, we also have the magician. So some, you're making something happen. And I feel like this is more so your epiphany about what you do next. You're at a crossroads, the two of wands. So let's find out what you have clarity about because you're moving forward into something new. What is it? 
We have the world. Can indicate travel, distance, um, an end of a cycle. Time to move on, perhaps. What else? Wow. For some of you, this could be divorce, justice, something you've been a little concerned about, Nine of Swords. But let's see what awaits you. Tell us about this true love, this life partner energy. What is that? Oh, okay, Gemini, we have missing you and fresh start. You are moving towards someone with whom you can begin again. More water. So interesting, the theme of water. For some of you, this, this could be a long distance relationship. This could be someone who lives on the beach. <laughs> we have water everywhere. Let's see what else. Anything else about this life partner energy spirit? Okay, wow, beautiful. We have reliving the past. You might have very fond memories with this person drawn to you. Follow your dreams. That's beautiful. I feel like, you know, for some of you, this is a risk. This is a risk. But you want to, you want to take this chance. I'm getting, you know, that, that fool energy is just, it's not here, but it's leaping out with this card. But right now, perhaps you're playing it safe. You need to, you, maybe you need to figure something out. Okay. Let's take a little peek at your person. Show us the energy around Gemini's person. Anything else? <clears throat> Bottom of the deck, we have the star. I, I'm getting um, a healing energy with this, the energy of renewal as well. It's kind of like that butterfly we saw earlier. Someone who, um, oh, oh, wow, wow. Okay, we have the Seven of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Empress. Okay, Gemini, um, your person is confused. Your person wants truth. Your person wants to speak their truth. They may be healing. This healing energy might be them um, withdrawing. We have the Empress. I feel... Um, you know, if, if this empress is representing wife, mother, this could be um, their energy here. The tribe, no place like home. This is someone who has family to consider, could be. Also divine feminine energy. I feel like there has been a, a withdrawal. Let's get some clarifiers. Tell us about truth. Ace of Swords. Tell us about the truth spirit. Ah, knowing their truth. Wow. Page of Swords, the sun. This can also be a veil being lifted. Someone keeping an eye on you. They may be watching you. They're perhaps at a point where they need to make a decision. And I'm getting an, an important decision. Tell us about this Empress. Hmm. We have the Four of Pentacles again. Holding back, um, blocking. We have the Two of 
pentacles. This might be someone who has withdrawn or has blocked their heart space. Maybe they have more than one option. They might be very busy. If they're married, they're juggling. Could be. Let's get one more on the Empress. Tell us more. <laughs> it came out. Yeah, they need to make a decision. They're, they are perhaps at a crossroads, needing to figure something out. Interesting. So let's, let's take a look at your relationship dynamic. Sorry, this is getting to be kind of a long reading. But I feel like whoever I'm connecting with needed to see this. So let's look at your relationship. Gemini and their person. Gemini and their person, please. What is the dynamic in this connection, please? Okay, let's see what we've got. Passive role. I feel like, Gemini, your person has kind of pulled back. We have someone needs to find their way through this without interference or influence. Um, they, they don't need your help, perhaps. Um, they're going to figure out their way through a family situation, or they know you have to. We have blame. Understanding that way we all play a part in how things unfold creates accountability and the past. Reflect and appreciate what you have experienced. If there is something keeping you stagnant, it may be time to release it. You know, whoever is in this victim mentality, yes, you can. <laughs> I just keep getting, yes, you can. Very interesting. Let's get some advice for you, Gemini. Advice for Gemini, December 2020, please. Anything else? Okay, that's it. Others can only victimize you if you allow it. You have choices and can take your power back. Interesting. I, I feel like decisions need to be made without the interference from family. Yes, you can. I Gosh, I just keep getting that. When choosing how to say it, choose honesty. Everything happens for a reason, and you will soon understand why. Wow. Okay, in the extended, Gemini, we're going to get into um, your person's energy, what they're thinking and feeling, what they are experiencing, what is the upcoming change in your connection, what they want to say to you, and how things will unfold. So if you are resonating with the story, click on the link to Vimeo and we will get into it. If not, I will see you in January. I wish you all love and light. Take care.